Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we react into another clip from 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown and this one today is our Jimmy Carr's jokes for Susie Dent too much the best of Susie Dent compilation. So she is someone who is featured in all of the 8 out of 10 cat clips that we watch and all of the regular countdown as well. She's in Dictionary Corner. Very nice innocent seeming woman. Jimmy always does make jokes about her as well so best of Susie Dent. I wonder whether we're going to have any of her firing back at Jimmy. That'd be great to see. But no, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to getting into this one, guys. And yeah, if you have any more 8 out of 10 cats clips you want me to react to, let me know in the comments section. And guys, without further ado, let's get into the reaction. And here we go, guys. Susie's new book is out just in time for Christmas. Finally, we know what all the children on Santa's naughty list are getting this year. <laughs> it says here in the 80s, Susie collected rocks. And there's me thinking that being the resident lexicographer on Countdown was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> pet rocks. Don't you remember pet rocks? Well, if you couldn't afford a real pet, you had a pet rock. John, I said you were the most boring. She's so sweet. <laughs> Our resident lexicographer Susie lived in New York for two years. They say New York is a city that never sleeps. Well, it did when Susie was there talking about lexicography. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest rumor you've heard about yourself on this show? Oh, this will be good. Uh, on. Um... One of the uh, more popular uh, fact sites, which aren't always facts, uh, they said I'd been in prison in Cambodia and I was married to a paperclip millionaire. Paperclip? <laughs> but you know, you can never trust those sites because they say you're a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to see. Reg is not the only D hunter on the show, the other is Susie Dent. She's always hunting the D. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Retro mingency. Retro mingency. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it used to be like a big bush? Is that a retro? I was gonna say, Sarah. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> it means peeing backwards. <laughs> Sucking it back in. <laughs> what do you mean peeing backwards? <laughs> you just well, sit the other way, right? Think, apparently, rhinos and hares can sort of. Piece that it kind of, and I didn't research this one, but it kind of, you know, just goes backwards. So it goes back. Well, I could do yeah. that. I just. <laughs> yeah, just sort of. <laughs> I have one big phobia. What, what, go on, what's your phobia? I haven't met anybody else who's got this, but I hate getting wrinkly fingers. So okay. I can't ever have a long bath. Just kept your hands in the I air. do that when I swim. When I swim with my kids, I do that. <laughs> yeah. Have you swim developed like, a new like that? stroke? <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. people just think you brought the party to the beach? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susie, are there any accents you find annoying? Um, well, there are these polls, aren't there, of the accents and how <laughs> intelligent... <laughs> There's always these how bloody polls. <laughs> <laughs> Susie's gone very UKIP recently. Yeah. <laughs> polls, yes. Polls, polls. Polish people, yes. No, no, polls. <laughs> And they ask people how intelligent they think uh, someone is, depending on their accent. And Brummy right. always comes last. And silence is always, it always rates better than a Brummy accent. <laughs> well, yeah. that's why I got rid of it. Did you have one? No, not really. <laughs> I was born better. I was going to say, Joe, you, you Susie's don't written four strike books me. All as... about the derivations of words and phrases. Susie, where do you get your lack of ideas from? <laughs> In David's most recent book, he named a squirrel after Susie Dent. Small, wild and with an insatiable appetite for nuts, Susie was delighted. <laughs> I think Susie's funniest moment was she was doing the origin of gingerly, you know, to act gingerly. And she got to the point where you put a piece of ginger in a horse's ass, <laughs> and she couldn't finish it. She tried to do it about five times and ended up cutting it out because she couldn't get through it. <laughs> ginger... What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you me there. Yeah, I know. I... You just someone up, you pet them up a bit, and it used to be putting a piece of, well, it didn't have to be ginger, but it could be anything, into a horse's, yeah. But why? To, horses... to keep its tail erect and to give, you know, make it sprightly. What? <laughs> Who's the first guy who discovered that? <laughs> the Oxford English Dictionary grows by over 4,000 yeah. words. Of... That's a good point. Like, <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. The first guy, it can't have been like they wanted the tail erect first, so they did something to make it. They would have discovered that putting something in there made it erect, and that's how they went from there. Which makes you think, uh, what uh, what was the thing that they put in there originally to make it erect, and why was something put in there? 
it's a very strange <laughs> thing to think about, isn't it? But no, this is good so far, and uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Here, no wonder Susie Dent's worn out. Well, that and the dogging. <laughs> Susie doesn't really enjoy being famous and goes to great lengths to avoid being recognised. For example, when she's in her car, she wears sunglasses and a hat, so the other doggers don't know it's her. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd do a bit of magic for you tonight. A oh, bit of magic, Here we a go. bit of magical activity. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Susie, could I borrow your shoes? <laughs> could I take your shoes off you? OK. If you don't mind. Now, here we are. They're just a normal pair of shoes. They're just putting the... Oh, <laughs> that's really smelly. <laughs> just have a look. It's a normal shoe. <laughs> just pass it around, have a look at it. That's one of Susie's shoes. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Standard shoe, wouldn't you agree? Oh. <laughs> oh no! I think I'm, quite, I'm quite intrigued now. Um, <laughs> how bad is this, man? Oh! <laughs> I can't tell if they're Do exaggerating or not, that's the thing. I am starting the magic, yeah? <laughs> no, that was not my thing. Susie Dent knows the derivations no, of even the rudest words and phrases. So, where does cock gobbler come from? Well, she was born in Woking, but now she lives in Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> my baby, that's my baby, huh? Poor Susie. You're always banging that door, aren't you? <laughs> Are you talking to Susie or me now? <laughs> <laughs> He's never banged. No, he is, though. Have to say, thank goodness. Um... Gated is my five, but of course you could have had goated. <laughs> when you've been goated. <laughs> what, what's goated mean? To be, to be goated. When you're goated, when you... you... <laughs> In certain satanic rituals, there's a need to turn you into a goat, and then you go, <laughs> we have goated him, we've turned him into a goat. Nick? And what, you sacrifice true? him? Satanic ritual? Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was Corrie. You're going to play by the rules, are you, Susie? You're going to play it by the rules. Check, are you? You're going to check if it's right. Boring. Why don't you just go? Let's have a bit of fun. Put a goat in him. Let your arm! Susie has written 14 books about the derivations of words, and you can find them all in your local library. Just ask for the sleepy go bye bye section. <laughs> OK. Susie, what have you been looking into recently? Other than glory holes. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Why is, why is this joke back in here? <laughs> it's back. I know, I know. I remember this one as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what have you been looking into recently? <laughs> I think this is all the effect of my having brought the. <laughs> yeah, it probably did spur it on, David. Yeah. <laughs> To the uh, the language of doctors which is quite interesting, okay. but things like um, brothel sprouts. Brothel sprouts. Yeah, you know, doctors have these ridiculous names to try and the black humour, sick humour, to yeah. try and you know keep the horrible stuff at bay. So brothel mm -hmm. sprouts, uh, basically genital, genital warts. Sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> to mention <laughs> that. Um, yes, that's it. Really, I can't. I'm just thinking glory holders. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, one probably leads to another, though, happened. doesn't it? They could have had oh, more, they right. could have had eight. You yeah, know, atomizer, that would have been eight letters. Uh, I think and then this... this word, I don't even, wouldn't know how to pronounce it or what oh, it means. that's just all the letters in the selection. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one, too. I've been telling, we need to react to some of your uh, well, Rachel and I have a um, uh, cat's down version of Snog, Marry, Kill for you, John, and Sean. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I would like the results, please. Um, yeah. Well, there's two kills and one snog. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you've got. Well, snog, Marry, Kill, you've got. Uh... I think we're dead, Jimmy. <laughs> 
most likely. Susie's written 13 books. They say everyone's got one good book inside them, so fingers crossed for the next one, Susie. <laughs> um, I've got a question for you, Susie. The word yeah. of the year, according to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2013, was selfie. Good choice? Very good choice. When a word starts to get lots of spin-offs, you know it's made it. And there were lots. It was Belfi, which was a bottom selfie. Mm -hmm. uh, Elfie, which was a selfie of a small person. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you just I've never heard of that you? one. I didn't expect slams from Dictionary Corner. <laughs> what was Johnny was doing while you were doing that? He, was, he did some really nice drawings, in fact. <laughs> Moist is my all-time least favourite word, but it's in. I'm so it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a disgusting word, word though, isn't the two, it? The two words I hate are moist and gusset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Susie, I would like to apologise yeah, for the effect I'm having on you, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave it at that, but no. Yeah, that was excellent. She uh, did exactly what I was hoping for, for her to actually go back at them a little bit. And she did it with John, with um, the joke about the Elfie. That was very good. And hitting back at Jimmy when she said on those websites, it says you're a comedian. That was, it was good to see. But no, I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. And like I said, if you want me to react to some more 8 of 10 cats, let me know in the comments section. And yeah, I'll see you guys later for the next video.